Hello everybody and welcome to Bangladesh. Today we will be making lamb curry. Feel free to pause the video here and have a read of the ingredients. Begin by roughly chopping your onions. You then want to finely chop your coriander. Pour oil into the bottom of a heavy pan and allow it to heat up. Then add your cinnamon sticks, bay leaves, cardamom seeds and star anise. Fry these for one to two minutes and allow them to release their aroma. You can then add your onions. Follow this by adding your ginger paste, garlic paste and salt. Stir these through the onions thoroughly to make sure it's evenly distributed. Cover this and allow the onions to become softened and translucent. Stir occasionally to prevent them from sticking to the bottom of the pan or burning. Once the onions have softened, you can add your meat. Stir the meat through the onions to evenly distribute the onions throughout the meat. Spread the meat across the bottom of the pan and then cover and allow it to cook. Cook the lamb for 8-10 to 10 minutes or until the meat becomes a pale colour and begins releasing its water. At this point you can now add your spices. Stir the spices through the meat. It is important to stir thoroughly to make sure the spices coat every piece. Once the spice has been evenly distributed as you can see in the video, cover and allow to cook. Cook the lamb on a medium heat and stir every 5-10 to 10 minutes to prevent the lamb from sticking to the bottom of the pan or burning.
As the lamb cooks, you will notice the water reduces and the lamb is starting to produce some oil. At this point, you want to add some more water as the lamb will not have cooked yet and you don't want the lamb to burn as it cooks. Depending on the size of your meat and the type of meat you use, the cooking time will vary, so make sure to top up water as the lamb cooks to prevent it from burning. Once the lamb has cooked fully, you can now add enough water to make your sauce. Depending on how thick you want the curry, you can add water to your taste. As we prefer a thinner curry, we have almost submerged the meat in water, but if you want a thicker curry, you can add less water. Cover and allow the curry to come to a boil. A good sign that the curry is done is that the bubbles will start becoming smaller. Once the curry is done, add coriander. The curry is now ready to serve. Finish by garnishing with some more coriander and enjoy with rice or any choice of flatbread. If you enjoyed our video, please give it a like and consider subscribing and comment down below if you give this recipe a try.